Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. They say that nightmares are dreams perverted. 1973's Messiah of Evil, which you can find on YouTube, is the directorial debut of William Hayek and the uncredited Gloria Katz, the writing team behind Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and uh, Howard the Duck. The film opens with an overwhelming sense of an American giallo film. Curious characters. Two dollars. No knock. Bloody murder. All the colours of Suspiria. Above all, we have an isolated woman, Arletti, caught up in a mystery that is clearly defined. I went there looking for my father. Yet only vaguely investigated. I'm looking for my father. Do you know him? I know of him. The plot skewing other ways. As Tom and his two lady friends move into Arletti's father's house on the beach where she is living. I let them stay. I never understood why giving the film the trace of taboo sexuality that is another giallo trademark. The dreamlike atmosphere is somewhat punctured by an excess of voiceover. I tried to sleep and I fell in and out of half dreams. And there often seems to be a tug between the desire to keep things nebulous and a fear that we might lose the audience if we don't explain everything. Don't be afraid. I'm an ugly old man but I'm harmless. While the atmosphere remains, the film then starts to make some unexpected handbrake turns into more traditional horror areas. Still keeping it vague in terms of what's actually going on, and beginning to feel like a mashup of supernatural horror tropes in a giallo setting. I also connected it somehow to the West Coast personal apocalypse of Day of the Locust, if it was adapted by Dario Argento, and was then placed alongside a literal end of days. And as the film goes on, there is a fascinating sense of what if the world ended and you were too caught up in your own stuff to notice? What is happening in this town is made clear towards the end. It's more horrifying than I expected. What the film is about is a whole other question and one that I do think is open to interpretation. I've given you a little of mine. Whether or not you enjoy it is also up for grabs. It's a film whose qualities have divided critics, audiences and, apparently, even its makers. And I can understand why. There is a lot here that I really like. It's taking a lot of tired concepts and presenting them in a very different way and a very human way. It is identifiably unheroic and even selfish. It looks good and it has a doom-laden atmosphere that feels biblical yet 1970s. I do hate the voiceover, and the perfunctory characterization makes it a hard film to stick with. We're never going to leave this place, are we? For all its giallo styling, it lacks the playful wickedness that makes the best of those films come to life. It's too morose for my taste. He didn't return that night. I walked along the beach in the morning, as I'm sure he must have. That said, I'd rather watch a film that's trying to do something different and interesting and failing than a carbon copy of what was successful last year. Thanks for watching. Have you seen this divisive oddity? What did you think of it? Let us know in the comments below.